Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, welcome to this homily on this 20th Sunday in year A. And today's gospel passage is taken from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. Today we reflect upon the story of a Canaanite or pagan woman who persisted in her faith in spite of obstacles, who knocked till it was opened to her and asked till it was given her. She met with God's silence, indifference, and even insult, but kept on and received what she was asking for. She, I think, is the only person in the whole gospel who changed Jesus' mind through her endurance. So today's gospel passage is surely about persistent prayer and deep faith, but there is a lot more in it for our reflection. Firstly, it is not an accident that Jesus met this woman, because he meets her in the region of Tyre and Sidon, which is a Gentile territory in the northernmost boundaries of Palestine, actually outside the Jewish territory. The Canaanites were the inhabitants there, and they were the traditional enemies of Jews from the time of Joshua. Palestine was their ancestral land, and Jesus is there in that land with this woman now. And two statements of Jesus made the situation rather puzzling. First, he told his disciples that he was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Then why did he go there to the north, to the region of the pagans, and not to the south, to Jerusalem, to Judea, where the Jews are? His second statement is more confusing, where he calls the pagans and here the woman dogs. And he comes here to this land of dogs. And then how can he expect sheep here, children here? Thus we see that this was a deliberate journey that Jesus made. It was not incident. And so naturally the question is why? And we can think of only one reason. He wanted to teach his disciples and us important lessons through this pagan woman. He wanted to teach them more than about faith, which he could have done anywhere. There was no need to go to that pagan land. So here is a story summarized before we see the lessons Jesus gives us. As Jesus is in the pagan land, here comes a desperate Canaanite woman for her daughter is possessed by a demon. Somehow, she has the faith that Jesus is the promised Messiah of the Jewish people who has power to heal her daughter. So she cries out loudly, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, heal my daughter. But Jesus is silent. He does not respond. As she continues, the disciples interfere, saying, send her away because she keeps crying after us. They intercede for her, plead for her. But still, Jesus seems to be more than silent. He seems to be indifferent, reluctant. He answered them, I am sent only to the lost sheep of Israel, means only to the Jews. But when the woman is resolute, he even uses some seemingly insulting words. It is not right to give the food of the children to dogs. This naturally means the Jews are the children and all non-Jews, including this woman, are dogs. The disciples, I'm sure, are perplexed. This is not the Jesus they knew. But as we see, the scene ends with Jesus complimenting the great faith of the Gentile woman. As we see, just before this episode, Jesus had some strong arguments with the Pharisees from Jerusalem who did not believe in Jesus and his teachings. And they were trying to find fault with the apostles for not keeping 
the purification laws to them jesus had to tell what matters is internal purity purity of heart of mind there were the religious leaders who came from the center of the jewish life jerusalem if you want to say yes they came from rome for us catholics but that did not matter they did not belong to jesus and before that jesus had scolded peter for his little faith as he was drowning in the water but now here he speaks about the great faith of a canaanite pagan woman so the first lesson jesus wants to give his disciples is that who you are to which group you belong is irrelevant what matters is your faith and trust in the lord her faith is great unlike the faith of peter and the disciples her faith was different and we see its depth in the way she responded to jesus her faith shows a journey with jesus on three different levels or stages first we see her with a silent jesus who ignores her but she believed that the silence of god was not his refusal and so she persisted then she meets the an indifferent jesus who told her that she was not part of the beneficiaries of his blessings as he was sent only to the family of israel but she throws herself down before him as her only hope and then she meets a jesus who seems to be even against her who calls her and the gentiles dogs but she does not withdraw persists till she hears the words woman your faith is great jesus wanted his disciples to understand that it is easy to believe in a god who gives everything we ask for who is prompt in responding to our prayers but it is hard to believe when our god seems to be silent to our sincere prayers and petitions when we don't get an answer to our continuous requests but dear sisters and brothers it is still hard almost impossible to continue believing and trusting in him when god seems to be against us he is not just silent or to our prayers but totally against us maybe you have experienced it in your own lives or you have met people who suffered like that even the people for whom we prayed fasted interceded still suffering as if god is really against them and that is when our great faith our heroic faith is shown here jesus gives us a second lesson When God allows us suffering he will also give us the strength to withstand. I'm sure Jesus knew that this pagan woman would withstand all the trials in spite of his silence and rejection. Otherwise he wouldn't have allowed it. She believed that the silence of Jesus was not his refusal or reluctance to help but was a test. as every silence from god is a lesson for us and god allows it because he knows we will overcome for he will give us his grace to persevere as saint paul says brethren no temptation has overtaken you that's not common and god will not let you be tempted beyond your power but with the temptation will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. 1 Corinthians 10:13. Also think about this. Had Jesus granted her request right away, this woman would never have ascended to the heights of glory that she did. In the same way, should Jesus grant our prayer request right away, 
we would never ascend to the heights of glory that is meant by the Father for us. That's why when in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus prayed that his Father rescue him. His Father did not. The answer to Jesus' prayer was not a rescue. It was a resurrection. Much more glorious. That was God's plan. We should expect that our prayers will be answered in the same way as Jesus' prayer was answered. Here Jesus is teaching the disciples the third lesson that our family or religious traditions our belonging to a particular group or community our status etc do not matter before God nothing can merit us his favor but our unconditional trust in him like most of their contemporaries the disciples thought that they were special that God cared They misunderstood the favor of God as a kind of ethnic superiority. They thought being a physical descendant of Abraham was more important than living Abraham's faith. There are many today who hold such wrong notions of religious superiority or vocational superiority. How easily we fall into an attitude superiority over others that we are privileged before God and lastly Jesus here rejects the accepted boundaries established on religious and social basis because of this feeling of superiority the boundary between the chosen ones and the Gentiles was very strong as we know from the Gospels and by helping this pagan woman Jesus drew a new boundary. From now on, the division, the boundary would no longer be between Jews and non-Jews, but between those who have faith and those who do not have. One should not feel so comfortable that one is an insider, that you belong to the church, that you are a religious, a priest. Nothing of this sort matters. So you should not be boasting about, be proud of who you are to whom you belong to which group what is important is not to what group you belong but to whom you belong and that will be shown in the way you live your life a life of deep faith so dear sisters and brothers god's love his mercy his gifts are always there and for everyone one obtains it only through one's unflinching faith when god does not seem to answer your prayers don't hang up but hang on reminds the canaanite woman wait for his time and don't give up jesus saw in the canaanite woman a faith that could withstand any assault a love for her daughter that was divine and a hope in jesus that could not be shaken what about us may the lord give us that strong faith